The odd ones out is out with the new video, Jump Food Version 2. Let's go. It was sponsored by Carrots. We're actually alright if you put other stuff on what us. Carrots? I wouldn't consider my parents health nuts, more like health kernels. They would <laughs> never buy unhealthy snacks, but they wouldn't force me and my siblings to go outside and play because it was always burning hot. And huh? just lick the melted candy off the sidewalk anyways. Dude. They would never buy sugary cereal. The most sugary cereal my parents got was Honey Nut Cheerios. But my mom would mix the Honey Nut Cheerios with regular ones to make it more healthy or something. What? So I would that start every sense. day spending 15 minutes picking out the regular Cheerios from the cereal bowl. Man. That's right, my parents didn't buy us cable, Cocoa Puffs, or candy. My life sucked. We were allowed <laughs> to eat sugary cereal for one day out of the year, and that was on Christmas morning. It's a fun tradition, and we still do it to this day. As a kid, I would always get jealous when my friends would pull out their Lunchables and tell me how much their family ate out and all the Chucky sugary cheese. cereals I still they got to eat. Meanwhile, I had a PB&J sandwich on wheat bread with the crust still on, but it's okay because I like the crust. But now looking back, yeah, so I'm just so grateful that my mom cared enough about my health to instill these healthy eating habits into me at a young age. I mean, I don't follow them anymore because I live on my own and I don't know how to cook and bagel bites taste so darn good, but I'm still thankful my mom taught me what I should be doing. Now, if there's any parents watching this going, hmm, I like the way this James's mom character thinks, good. Yep. I would recommend to all parents that you should be teaching your kids healthy eating habits as soon as possible. I definitely didn't appreciate it at the time, but now that I'm older and wiser, I'm thankful that I like the taste of wheat bread. My parents had a saying. The wider the bread, the sooner you're dead. They would always get wheat bread. Even for hot dog and hamburger buns, they got wheat. Some of you might have had to use sandwich bread as hot dog buns. You're poor. I get it. But at least you didn't have to use wheat bread. However, now that I live on my own, I still get the wheat bread because I don't want to die young. I, still I get the wheat bread as well. I eat it every Some day. Some things never change, I guess. Except I do get the white hot dog buns. The wheat ones are still gross. When I was a very little kid, my dad's work was throwing a barbecue get-together thing, and I got to eat as many hot dogs on oh, white bread man, as I could handle. But the candy best candy part story. of it all was I got to wash it down with soda. Listen, Sweet. I was very sugar-deprived back home. I had to catch up on all the sugar I was missing out on. I don't remember what the soda was exactly, but let's just say for the sake of this story, it was an original bottle of Coke from the 1800s. It might as well have had cocaine because I was addicted to all the white powdery stuff they added into that drink. Pretty soon, my tummy started to get the rumblies, and I had no idea what was causing it. So I told my dad, Dad, my tummy hurts. And he said, Hmm, it's probably because you're dehydrated. Here, have some soda. And I still respected my dad at that age and thought he knew what he was talking about, so I drank more soda. And then I threw up and my dad said, we should leave. I mentioned this <laughs> next story in my first book, available in bookstores near you. Be on the lookout for book number two, coming out at the end of March. But one time my mom bought a giant three-pound bag of Skittles. I forgot what she bought them for, but they definitely weren't for us. She locked them away in a closet because she knew what us kids would do if we got our Oh, yeah, yeah, they were going crazy. This wasn't the first time my mom had to hide candy from us, but this time she forgot to lock the closet, leaving the Skittles unprotected. And me and my older brother ate the entire thing. And we would have gotten away with it, but then something came up. Puke. I threw up on the family room carpet. My mom saw how rainbow the throw up was and immediately put two and two together and knew that we had gotten into our Skittles. Oh, the funny part of this story is that my older brother got punished, but I didn't. Because according to my mom, I had already suffered enough. And that's why that story is in the chapter titled, Perks of Being the Younger Brother. Anyways, don't eat so much candy that you throw up. Okay, I'm going to be talking about M&M's for a while, so to make it go faster, instead of saying M&M's, I'm just going to say, mm. In one of my older videos, I said that my favorite candy bar was, mm, and every time I would tell people, that's that, not a candy I would bar, always though. say, that's not a candy bar. Yeah. I just, I just can't do this anymore. <laughs> but then something interesting happened. A year after that video was posted, mm, I actually released a bar version of their candy, Ooh. so now I can absolutely say that, mm, Candy bar and he just broke that glass. Looks. Oh, he's bleeding too. The, mm, marketing team sent me a box of mm, candy bars, and I think they wanted me to promote it, but because I said that mmms are my favorite candy bar, whenever I go to a convention, sometimes you guys bring me mmm candy, which is very thoughtful, but you know, I like other things too, like Oreos and Twix and money. You know, I'm just saying you don't have to bring me mmm all the time. When I was visiting London, I went to the mmm store with my friends Adam and Mads, and if you don't know about the mmm London store, it's four stories tall, 35,000 square feet, and according to Wikipedia, the largest sweet store in the world. Oh, I gotta check that so place out. So it was kind of big. Once I stepped inside, my first thought was, 
Okay, this is too much. It was like the candy forest scene in Willy Wonka, except it was all chocolate and expensive. In one part of the store, you can make your own custom mmms with a picture and two phrases. So for the picture, I googled my cartoon self, held up my phone to the camera, and it bloody worked, mate. And for the phrases, naturally we wanted to write something that was meaningful, so we wrote Mad Stinks and Adam Smells. But the mmm employee didn't allow us to write that because it was too negative and went against the mmm brand. So knowing we were not allowed to roast each other, the next phrases we decided to print was Get Mads and Something Else YT. It wasn't creative, but without being able to make fun of each other, we didn't have a lot to work with. But those phrases weren't allowed either because they were the names of some YouTubers, so they got flagged by the system and they told us, you'll need permission from the YouTuber even though you're both right here. Listen, boys, I'm just a mm, employee. I don't want to get sued. <laughs> on just one hand, I'm glad that mm, has Is that a, a ninja? system in place to prevent people from stealing. <laughs> but on the other hand, it's just mmms. What do you <laughs> think we're going to do with them? So after two failed attempts at getting the phrase we wanted, we settled on getting Adam! And Mads! At least I still got my cannonball guy printed, even though technically this image is copyrighted, so mm, you'll be hearing from my lawyers soon. <laughs> One of the disadvantages of being a YouTuber is the lack of benefits. We don't even have dental. And with all the junk food I'm eating and the flossing I'm not doing, I should probably see one. Can I confess something? I didn't know dentists were optional. I thought they summoned you to their offices like jury duty. That's what it felt like when I was a kid. I've never gotten a cavity, though. At least not one that I know of. So at least I'm doing something right. Now comes the part of the video where I give you advice on eating healthy. But I'm still working on that myself. And when I don't know what to eat, I can't help but biting down on a delicious carrot. Carrots are the most popular vegetable in the world, having been nominated as the best orange thing ever. Use code odd one next time you purchase a carrot okay. to get 5,000 free carrot points and a bunch of weird looks at the grocery store. Give your body yeah. the fuel it needs. You wouldn't pour soda in a car engine and expect it to run. Of course, that's not really the best metaphor to use because yeah, you also wouldn't pour water into a car and expect it to run. I guess everyone drink gasoline because cars and people are the same. But the point yeah. is, you've only got one body, so you should take care of it. So yeah, that was junk food version two. Um, after eating this, I'm definitely gonna try to eat more healthy. Um, got my brown rice and chicken right here. Um, but yeah, great job in the video. Odd ones out. Can I wait to see the next one? Anyway, guys, leave your comments below, like, and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Sean and Matthew underscore, take care.